What's up, guys? Sloppy Wet Blow. I figured you would love to see this. Yes, the Swift 27-inch, 144 hertz monitor, 2560 by 1440 G-Sync monitor. Had enough of you guys yelling at me. You got to try it, man, with your setup. Well, we got it. I'm dying to see it. I hope you guys um, are right because I'm used to 60 hertz, so this thing should blow my mind. Just want to show you the box. I can't even put this on a stand. Bro, there's, guys, this box is huge. And that's an understatement. When I say huge, I mean huge. Look at, look at the size of this mother. It feels like it's like a 40 inch in here. But anyway, that is the Republic of Gaming Asus. As you see, one millisecond, 144 hertz. Whatever else it's got, 3D vision. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing 3D vision. Though that would be probably a piss of a deal. And that is the other side. I'm going to open it up and show you guys. All right, guys, I'm back here. This thing is so big, it's hard to even uh, be able to do it on a typical way I do these videos. Here you see the monitor. Actually, the stand's on the bottom. This is interesting. I'm going to have to show you, as you see, left to right, here is inside the box. I'm sure the manuals and everything is under it. I'm going to take it out, and let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, I just opened up the styrofoam just to show you. This thing is so big, I can't even do it like normally. And here is what you're getting in the box, unopened. You're getting a VIP member notice from Asus. And you're getting a quick manual guide, how to quickly start it up and all that stuff. All right. You're getting your connectors and a software disk. So probably, obviously it has drivers, which I will download from the site. I won't even use those. And here is all your connectors. Power supply. I'm not used to doing it this way, guys. Here is your, it looks like your display port connector and here is the extra part this goes into that other brick to plug it in and here is your HDMI cable all right let me just show you guys that's how that's weird that's how the monitor comes if you see it's like upside down it's actually cool. It's already attached to everything. That's how it came. Just like that. All right, guys. I took it. It swivels around, so it was upward. Let me go down to the bottom to show you where it says the G-Sync and 3D Vision. Okay, so you see that. Republic of Gamer. The light lights up around the ring there. That, there's like a red ring you should see. That will light up. Here is the monitor. Just wanted to show it to you. Okay. All right, guys, here's the back of it. There's the bottom of the stand. As you see here, it's got a Republic of Gamers um, little emblem. On the um, left side, as we're looking at it, is your power switch. Obviously, that's going to be for menus and all that stuff. And I just want to show you the whole back of it. And if you see here on the bottom right, that's where all your connectors are, okay? So right there, if you could even see, right there. Is where you're going to put all your connectors into to plug the beast in again there it is as you see the bottom will light up i'll get it hooked up and show you guys what's up guys slap wet below here just wanted to show you with the red ring on and show you the monitor itself uh looks cool uh, i haven't tried it yet i had a problem just trying to figure out how to get the g-sync enabled so i um I ended up, uh, you have to restart the computer because it just didn't recognize it. You have to restart it, set it up in the control panel. But that's it. That's it. It all hooked up, ready to go. And uh, we have 144 hertz. Looking forward to testing it out. What's up, guys? Sloppy Wet Blow here. Well, I'm in here just doing the uh, Pendulum demo with the G-Sync that you can download. It is a really cool demo. I just wanted to show you guys... Um, a little bit of the G-Sync, what it does, how it performs, and what I think about this monitor so far. Well, as you see, you can change the different settings on this. I think that's pretty cool. But 
focus on pendulum. Okay, let's do that. Well, this is um, no VSync on right now. This is just to show you how it is, how you're getting a little screen tearing around the pendulum. If you see it there, see it there. Uh, I can simulate 40 frames per second. Watch the pendulum. It just show you that it can't refresh quick enough to um, handle it. You'll see like just like almost like dun, 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 as you're going. Here it simulates 50 frames per second. It simulates 60 frames per second. And let me put the VSync on. But you'll notice that even with VSync on, it's still not super smooth. You'll see like it just doesn't look right. And um, it's a really cool thing to see. So here is G-Sync enabled. And watch how smooth this is. Do you notice around this is no more popping and tearing or anything? This just shows you how smooth it is. Um, I could spin the camera around a little bit to show you. A little to show you the difference. This is, again, with no V-Sync. It's a rip to see the differences. There's no V-Sync. Let's simulate 40 frames per second. As you'll see, the pendulum just gets a little stuttered. Let me stop it and go in a little bit more to show you the different slides. It's a really cool test to show it. As you'll see, it just almost stutters, and you'll see like little line breaks. Okay, it simulates 60, which still has that effect. It has like a little bit of lines. Uh, his V-Sync on. So see, it does a better job, but it's still not the same. It's not fluent and smooth. When you put G-Sync on, watch the difference. Look how smooth that is. So that'll just show you what the G-Sync difference. Well, guys, I'm just going to give you my input. I have only played Battlefield 4 so far. Obviously, with G-Sync enabled, 144 hertz on one card so far. And to say that it's an uh, incredible difference from a 60 hertz experience, well, let's just say it's, it's, it's an incredible, incredible, incredible difference. I am absolutely blown away by the, the difference with G-Sync and the 144 hertz does. Uh, what would I do? I don't know. The only problem I'm having right now is I can't imagine. Um, look, at, look at what the G-Sync on. Stop this. Mouse zooming. I'm just amazed at how nice this looks. It's so freaking smooth, man. You see the smoothness in this? It's just absolutely incredible. I love this demo, man. It really shows it off. Here, here's no V-Sync. Watch the difference of the pendulum. You guys can see it instantly. It's just not as clear. You'll see it in the lines in here, too. It's just not as clear. So anyway, this monitor is awesome. I just don't know if I could deal with a 27-inch monitor. Um... And I don't know what I'm going to do with my 4K monitor. I mean, it's this good. This monitor is that good. I'm dying to see it in other games, which I will be doing. But here is G-Sync enabled again. Just how beautifully smooth it is. Awesome, awesome technology. So that is my review. It, the I have to calibrate it. Also, I just want to guys let you guys know that it's um, pretty easy to use to set up. Um, it's kind of like my Samsung monitor in the back is where your buttons are back right side so I'm kind of used to that and stuff but that's it I'm loving the monitor I think it's absolutely um, an amazing amazing uh, monitor that's all I could say about it